In 2025, we have been absolutely bombarded by a number of different AI tools, apps, websites, services, all that provide us as academics or as students or as anyone doing any kind of research. We're provided by these tools. It's really difficult to figure out which one is best for which use because sometimes they have overlapping features and sometimes one is better for a certain person, even just looking at the user experience. So I also have been playing around with these AI tools for many years now, ever since they were released. In today's video, I'm going to be going through the 10 best AI powered apps that are good for studying. And if you like this kind of content, then please press the subscribe button to get me to 400K if I'm not there already. And also to see more like this on my channel and leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have any tools that you've been using that you think that you want to share and let me check out because I'm sure there are ones that I haven't even begun exploring. So number one is Notebook LM and Notebook LM is a really great tool that is actually free to use. So it's really easy open access for anyone to be able to get started and study. You can upload your lecture notes, you can upload a presentation, any kind of text that you've written. You can even upload like a video or a YouTube video or something that you have recorded and ask questions about it. You can also create mind maps, which is really cool. And it gives you this really fascinating mind map that is detailed and has different levels as well. So you can zoom in from just like the base of the topic to more detailed sub kind of sections of that topic so it's really useful and then you can download it and keep it as an example for you to study in the future and um, you can also listen to the lecture notes as a summary using the podcast feature which is great for those that learn more from like listening to things rather than reading and writing and there's just so many capabilities and I just love how easy it is to group different sources together and ask questions on those sources too so I think that's fantastic and I think it's a great starter platform to begin if you're new to AI and you think let me start to try and test something out, Notebook LM is a good one. Number two is Anara AI. And I've spoken about this one a lot before. It used to be called Unriddle. So with Anara, what you can do is, again, it's not somewhere that you can search for literature or search for information, but it's somewhere that you can take the information that you found and organize it into kind of neat uh, folders and neat sections. And they've just released something called Table View, where you're able to see all the research papers and, and sources that you have in a really nice table and, and filter that table. And then you can also ask questions so if you're studying let's say you're studying a topic and you have a really good research paper or a really good book and you've uploaded it into Anara you can ask questions about that source so you can say like what's the critique or you can say what's the five key points or the five key results or the biggest bit of information that I need to know from this particular research paper or book or whatever and you can just kind of speeds up the reading process a lot more and it just makes studying a lot more easier. Number three this might come as a surprise but it's just ChatGPT. I think ChatGPT gets a lot of slack in the academic studying world because it's like the Wikipedia of my day where people said don't use Wikipedia, the sources are fake and it's written by anyone, etc. People say that now about ChatGPT, that it hallucinates and that you can't trust the sources, which is true. But if you're just doing something a lot more general and you're not relying on citations and sources, I think ChatGPT can be a, be a really good one. So for example, you're looking for definitions. If you're studying and you just need a quick definition or you want to compare two different words or you want to kind of send a paragraph into ChatGPT and ask it to define it or make it sound simpler or explain this section to you or like brainstorming or creating outlines for things. I, I really still think it's very powerful. Powerful. Even things like learning how to structure an essay, you can ask ChatGPT, give me the perfect structure for the introduction paragraph of an essay. And it will say, start with the opening sentence, next give this, next do that, add a critique, add etc. And you can just follow that, you know, for yourself. So I think, like I said, I think ChatGPT gets a lot of hate <laughs> academically, but I still think it has value. Number four is Traverse. And I haven't used this a huge amount, but I have kind of played around with it a little bit. So this is an app that uh, is a self-learning app and allows you to master complex topics. So it allows you to mind map, note take, and also create space repetition flashcards all in one place. So rather than, you know, kind of creating notes and, and having messy notes all over the place that doesn't have much information, information you if you use traverse you're able to create these flashcards that allow you to kind of come back to this information again and again in the future and it's kind of built the way that humans learn in that it covers the full learning cycle so not just 
covering one part of the cycle, like just reading a textbook or just understanding, you're able to get the whole I guess, cycle of learning within one app. And like I said, I haven't used it a huge amount, but I think when it comes to studying and learning, this probably would be a good one. Number five is Canva. And this wouldn't typically be on a, an AI tools list, but I was thinking about, it, you know, what tools would I have loved to have when I was studying? And actually Canva would be a big one because I used to make presentations all the time, posters and, and just slides and kind of creating images and, and figures and all of this kind of kind of visual information. I used to do all of that on PowerPoint or, you know, Excel and spreadsheets and things like that. But actually now you can do that all on Canva and it can really look so good. So if you're, you know, you've got a presentation like end of year or you have like a Viva presentation or you have something that you need to create to, sh to, to stand and present to an audience, Canva is a really great tool for that. And they even have the AI capability where you can write type in a little bit of information about like what you're looking for or the kind of image that you want and it, Canva can create this for you so I think for visual design it's a really good one. Number six is Jenny AI and I'm sure that you would probably guess that Jenny would come up on this list <laughs> but um, Jenny is a tool that again I've been using very much since the beginning I think it was one of the first academic specific tools that kind of have popped up when AI swept over the world and, and came into into fruition so Jenny is a good tool for writing so it really helps you with creating strong text it really helps you with brainstorming and it also helps with like it also helps you with editing thinking about outlines citations storing your citations and a lot more to do with the writing side and now they even have the capability of searching through your literature and asking questions about your literature so it's a lot it's a lot similar to Anara but a bit more than Anara on the writing side of things the next one is Claude now Claude I did a video for quite recently as a sponsored video and this video isn't sponsored but I spent so long trying to figure out ways to use it through you know for an academic audience for a student for a researcher because of that video and it really showed me how much I can integrate Claude into my workflow as an academic and even more so as a student. So with Claude, you're able to, you know, upload your data, you're able to do statistical analysis, understand why you need to do certain stats, and then even get the visuals for that stats. So you can get the graph, the tables, any data points that you want, any interpretation that you want as well. You can also create really cool interactive charts from anything really. So you can say, I'm interested in creating this product or I'm interested in like let's say a study timetable can you create an interactive study timetable that includes these subjects this number of days this these times these subjects and it will create that for you so I really think that Claude is quite underrated again it's been out since the beginning like it's not brand brand new and I did dabble with it in the past but over the last couple of months I've really been integrating it a lot more in my workflow and I now think that it's like probably top three tools that I've ever used when it comes to AI. Number eight is perplexity. So perplexity, imagine it to be just a an AI search engine. So Google, make it AI, you have perplexity. And again, started off more as an academic research tool, I would say, but has kind of gone more into the more general search engine, which I think is really good because it still feels quite academic and it still feels like the sources that I'm getting are true, which they are. So, so if you do search for information on perplexity, you can be confident that the papers that it suggests to you and the citations that it pulls out are to be trusted so I think this is really important and then you can ask questions about the sources and you can kind of delve in a bit deeper and find other sources so I think it's a really good Google search or Google Scholar alternative, but as an AI tool. The next one is called Goth Math. I think that's how you spell it. It <laughs> sounds a bit weird, but essentially this is a tool that helps you with any homework that you have. So you can either upload an image, upload a PDF or type your question and it will, the AI tool will help you by giving you a bit of an answer. So it not only just gives you the answer, but it gives you like a step-by-step -step solution to guide you through like how you got to the answer. It also gives Gives quite detailed explanations as to like how it got there, why it got there. This is step one, this is step two, and it's really quick 
they also have like tutors if you want more help one-to-one -one as well so yeah so it's a really good kind of homework tool I would say more than anything if you're someone who's an academic or researcher you probably won't find this useful but if you're a student and you're looking for help for studying and homework this could be a really good alternative to speaking to a teacher and the last one is called question AI and again this is on a very similar ballpark to goth math <laughs> where it's like an AI homework help but again if you're a student and you just want a bit of support with your homework and you don't quite understand it these tools can be really really helpful and help you overcome that overwhelm and, and anxiety. So this is a study companion. So again, you can give it any questions that you have, a search for kind of answers, and even just look at any homework that you might have or kind of any questions that you need solving. So in general, I think it's quite simple in its offering, but this is very much tailored to the student, very much tailored towards giving you a solution and answer and steps. If you want more of a general answer, you could just input the questions in ChatGPT. But if you want a more academic directed answer then these tools the last two tools I mentioned would probably be a lot better I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful these are the tools that I would suggest using if you're a student and you're brand new to AI and you want to delve into the world of AI I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in my next video bye